This is day 106 on the Appalachian Trail. Just did this river crossing. A Wolf described it as a ford, but I was able to rock hop this and get across pretty easily. Had a great night last night. Got to the shelter and um, let me see, there were two other guys. One section hiking, one through hiking. And uh, it was uh, pleasant. As soon as I got there and got settled, it started raining. It rained for about an hour, and, which was good because I was already in the shelter. And maybe that'll be the rain for the day. I want to do a good day today. The uh, there's a White House landing or something tomorrow, and it's um, 22 miles to that landing. And the more I do today, the less I have to do tomorrow. The sooner I can get to the landing, and if I get there early enough. I'm gonna enjoy an easy day. I cook dinner and breakfast. I think they have some canoes or something. Go out in the lake and play. I don't know. That's kind of what I'm hoping. A lot of that will depend on the weather, of course. Oh, look at this. It's a marsh. Okay, I'll put my phone down and manage to get through all this. Look at this giant mushroom. And these are size 13 shoes beside it. That is huge. I can make a portobello sandwich out of that thing. <laughs> if it's a portobello mushroom, I don't know. Oh, here's the trail. I managed to get through that first muck. Day 106. My goodness gracious. Moose poop. It was cool seeing Katahdin yesterday for the first time. Just keep getting closer and closer. Not much elevation gain today. I think we have a I have a couple of little climbs early. But small. And then it's just long downhill, just a gentle sloping downhill. Really, not much more elevation change all the way to Katahdin. So, if the terrain's favorable, it should be some easy miles. I got a resupply yesterday, two day supply of food. Guy dropped a canister off at a road, had a little ribbon with my name on it, went and got it, and that was pretty cool. I think Shaw's will do that for you. Shaw's is one of the uh, uh, hostels back in Munson, and there was another company that'll do it also. I believe the Appalachian Trail. Uh, ATC has something to do the same thing. You know, the different road. All right. Roots and rocks. It's cool. Man, the mosquitoes were out last night. I slept with my bug net over my head. And uh, still, 
I had to stay zipped up in my sleeping bag. It was hot. Oh, this is nice. We're in Georgia. <laughs> Well, maybe not. All these little fir trees. Very cool. All right, let's go hike. All right, here's the view this morning during the climb. Very cool. All right, day 105 on the Appalachian Trail, and I just met this young man. What's your trail name? Sour Patch. Sour Patch, he's southbound and he's bugged ready, man. That's right. And when did you start? Uh, first day on the wilderness was the third, uh, so it gets hot on the second. <sighs> So what, cool. what, I don't even know what day it is, but I think I've been like six days, I think maybe. Yeah, I think it's the eighth. Yeah, so yeah, you moving on. You meet Mon the cool. Monson and five, I hope. All right. Some you bacon meet and eggs. <laughs> and a shower. We all need a shower. Yeah. <laughs> all right, here we go. All right, this is Crawford Pond on the way today, and it is gorgeous. Real cool still. It's warm and humid today. I actually want to jump in and go swimming. Sorry about that. All right, Crawford Pond. Here All we right, go. here we are, day 106. I just met this young man here. What's your trail name again? Just Luke. Just Luke, because you hadn't found it. Yeah, that's right. So you're Sobo. When did you start? Uh, July 4th. Oh, man, that's yeah. super. It's cool. All right, congratulations. Yeah, thanks. All right, I stopped at the Cooper River, Cooper Brook lean-to. There's the lean-to, and right in front of some beautiful river. They call it a brook. There's a swimming hole right there. There's a waterfall. This is a wonderful place to have lunch. Started raining pretty hard, but it's quit. Got my rain gear ready, but I'm not going to put it on until I have to. All right. All right, day 106 on the Appalachian Trail, and I just met, ran into this young lady. Hi. And she's a southbound through hiker. Yes. And do you have a trail name yet? Uh, not yet. I've had some suggestions. Uh, Sequoia, maybe. Sequoia? Sounds maybe. good. When did you start? July 4th. Oh, that's fabulous. I met a couple other guys that started July the 4th. Yeah, it's a pretty cool start date, you know, Independence Day. The, uh, you meet the coolest people on the Appalachian Trail. All right. All right, day 106 again. I just ran into these two guys. They're both southbound hikers and they're go through hikers. Yes, sir. And uh, you don't have neither one of you have trail names yet? No trail no. names yet. When did y'all start? Uh, we started down in the second. Second, all right. Somebody cut out Katahdin. Hard. Oh. For a beginner. Yeah, <laughs> they're, they're going to get tough though. You guys are making really good time. Thank you. All right, guys, have a great day. Cheers. Good hike. Great, thank you. The trail today has been incredible. I think I'm following an old logging road. And once I came off that mountain, it's been like this the whole way. Went by the shelter earlier, then went right by a waterfall. Almost wanted to stay there because it's so pretty. And that waterfall going, I just slept like a baby. <laughs> But you can just kind of hike this. I wish it was going to be like this all the way to Katahdin. But that's okay. Yeah, it's just a pretty day. Pretty, well, pretty trail. Today's been rain showers off and on. Not long enough to put on my rain gear, but enough to... Uh, Get your attention. 
exercise and make a little rain would feel good on my hot head right now. They, uh, the mosquitoes are prominent, but I have on enough of a rappel mix of this stuff, eucalyptus and lemon, which just seems to work. And I have a DEET also. So if it gets real bad, I'll put them both on. <laughs> and uh, every now and then I hear one buzzing around my ear. And I'll pull my buff down and they'll leave my ears alone anyway. So anyway, here we are. Making time on the Appalachian Trail. I like this trail. Here we go. All right. Pretty river. Running on this side of the trail now. Just crossed another stream back there. Let me get over here and I can show it to you. Wasn't a bad stream crossing. You can see it there. It's got rocks and stuff. And there's a rope going across it too. And that made it easier having the rope. Yeah, here we go. 1.5 miles to my little campsite for the night. It's hard to see this through the trees, but this is beautiful. Just had another river crossing. Right after that one, I showed with the ropes. And this one didn't have it. But you can kind of step across on the rocks, rock off it, and one of the big rocks right in the middle was loose. But luckily, because of my ballet-like balance, <laughs> I didn't tumble. So, anyway, got to cross three of them today without getting wet. My shoes are great for me. All right, here we go. Let's get to this campsite today. Look at this pine straw covering this. Oh, this is sweet. Yeah. All right, guys, this is day 108. I'm here at Antlers Campsite. And I'm with these two fellas here. What's your trail name? Latonka. Latonka. Yeah, just Thomas. Just Thomas. Just Thomas. He's sophisticated smoking his pipe. And it's a beautiful day. And this is a wonderful campsite. We all sat in here and had dinner and went swimming. And life is good. 